In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Nikon D3400's program manual modes. The program modes on the dial are the P, S, and A modes. And these are partly manual modes and partly automatic modes. And we're going to start with P. In program mode, what happens is the camera will set the aperture and the shutter speed for you. For instance, as I'm moving the camera around, you can see the aperture and the shutter speed changing automatically as the camera reads the scene. But I have control and the ability over the ISO setting, which I am changing right here. And you can learn how to change the ISO setting in this video right here. And you can also change any of the other manual mode functions, such as the quality of the image, the white balance, uh, we already covered the ISO, the shutter mode, the focus mode, the focus points, the metering mode, things like that. So program is a way to start taking some control over the camera without taking too much control if you don't feel comfortable with it yet. The next mode on the dial is shutter priority mode. And shutter priority mode gives you even more control. What happens in shutter priority mode is you have control over the the ISO and the shutter speed and all of those other settings we just talked about like the white balance and the focus point and stuff like that. But when it comes to the exposure, you control the ISO and the shutter speed and the camera will set the aperture for you. Look at this right here. Right now it's saying the subject is too dark. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to change my ISO and increase it to as high as I possibly can, which is 25,600. When I do that, you can see that it's showing that it's able to set an aperture that allows me to take a picture. Before, it was saying the subject is too dark. I'm gonna turn my ISO back down to 800 and see how it says on the bottom subject is too dark. It's telling us that with the ISO and the shutter speed that has been set, which is 1 640th of a second, I am unable to take a photograph and not have it turn out dark. And this is what the photo looks like. So I can change my ISO, but I can also change my shutter speed. Now remember, there's this control dial on the back of the camera. When you're in a priority mode, the control dial changes the setting that you have control over. So in shutter priority mode, this dial changes the shutter speed. And as you can see, when I change the shutter speed, that bar on the bottom also changes. That is your exposure indicator. And this is another way to tell if your image is too bright or too dark. As you can see on the left of the exposure indicator, there's a minus and on the right, there's a plus. And so if it's over on the minus side, it's telling you that the image is too dark. And if it's over on the plus side, which I'm gonna have to do a lot of dialing for, it's gonna tell you that it's too light or too bright. And so the idea here is that you can set the shutter speed and you can change the ISO and let the camera set the aperture automatically for a correct exposure, but you do have to keep an eye out for the warning that it might be too bright or too dark and potentially adjust your settings for that. Now the aperture priority mode is the A mode on the dial. And this works exactly the same as shutter priority, but in aperture priority, you have control over the aperture setting and the ISO setting. So now the dial will change the aperture and the camera is automatically going to change the shutter speed for you. So as I'm spinning the dial, you can see the aperture is changing and the shutter speed is automatically changing. So it might not look like anything is different, but I'm actually changing the aperture. And again, Again, I can hold down the function button and also change the ISO setting on the camera. So that's how the priority modes work. But there's another function that you have access to in the priority modes that lets you take more control over the camera and the photos than you get when you're in auto mode. And that's with the exposure compensation button, which you can see right here. This button allows you to tell the camera to make the image brighter or darker if you want it to do that. Now, if you watch the manual mode tutorial, you'll know this is the button you hold down to change the aperture when shooting shooting in manual mode. And I mentioned in that video that it's also the exposure compensation function. When I hold this button down, you can see the exposure compensation highlights and it says exposure compensation on the bottom. Now I gotta hold that button down and spin the dial. And as you see, it's going plus 0.3, plus 0.7, plus one. 
And if I go to plus one, that's going to make the image twice as bright as it would be if it was just at zero, where the camera is going to do a correct exposure as it feels. So this is a way for you to tell the camera that you want the image to be brighter or darker. An important thing to remember with the exposure compensation function is that it doesn't change back automatically after you've taken the photo. If you want to stop overexposing your image or underexposing it if you went that direction, you have to change it back to zero yourself. If you don't, your pictures are going to continue to be over or underexposed depending upon how you set your exposure compensation. So that's how you use the priority modes and the program auto functions on the Nikon D3400 as well as the exposure compensation. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments and make sure you check out the rest of the videos in my D3400 tutorial playlist. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to shoot video with the D3400 and the best video settings for this camera.